Today we are in Lady Lake and behind us is Texas Roadhouse. We were wanting a steakhouse today. Haven't ever filmed it. I've been there plenty of times, mm -hmm. eaten a lot of their rolls, but we thought let's go show Texas Roadhouse. Let's go check it out. Now, typically every Texas Roadhouse we have gone to, especially in Missouri, there's quite a wait. But I think we're coming at the right time to where it doesn't seem overly crowded. Between, like, lunch and dinner. Hope so, yeah. Hope it's, hope it's not crowded. And right over this way, Sam's Club. So if you're wanting to find it, go to the Sam's Club in Lady Lake. And here's Texas Roadhouse. Let's see what the hours are. So caution, peanut and peanut dust in the area. Hours, Monday through Thursday, two to nine, Friday, Saturday, 11 to 10, Sunday, 11 to nine. Hopefully there's not very long of a wait, but we will find out. So check in here after checking in, please wait outside your vehicle until a party has been paged. So let's see what's going on here. Also, there's a jukebox right there. There's some rolls, there's the steak. Oh, we're getting seated right away, which is awesome. So, we are heading this way. Restrooms are gonna be way far in the corner. I'll show you when we get seated. But, we're coming over this way and we're gonna sit right here. And restrooms are just past the bar. You can see it says outhouse way over. You see the buffalo right there. So right under there, outhouse. There's the rolls, I've missed these. You did say you're having one at least. I don't blame you. Just one. Just one. Here's a look at the drink menu. Got some cocktails. I know there's some kind of um, peach drink they have here that is very good. Let's see, there's wine. Is it on this side? Oh, Texas peach fuzz. I love the Texas peach peach fuzz. It's so good. Good Long Island tea here as well. Look, $5. $5 Long Island teas. i back some of their beers. Let's have a look at the menu. As we open it up, let's start with the beverages. So they've got some flavored teas. I really like their peach tea, so I think that's what I'm going to get. They do have some raspberry, blue crush, and strawberry lemonades. And let's come over here, just for starters. There's some salads. Here's a look at the hand cut steaks. We like getting steak here. They used to have the six ounce sirloin. It was like $9.99 back in the day, but still solid choice because you get two sides with it. And over here, it's a large menu. Some chicken, country dinners, dockside favorites. Yeah, the salmon's good. Legendary sides. I love their um, loaded sweet potatoes. Here's a look at some of the steaks. Chicken. Shrimp. Add a sidekick to any meal. Start off right with some appetizers. I bet their fried pickles are really good. Cactus blossom's good. There's some of their lemonades. Then burgers and sandwiches. Kids meals. Then of course, like I said earlier, the beverages. And then if we turn on the back, we're gonna have, there's an early dine in 11.99, that's Monday through Thursday until five. And then desserts and their sides. Looks like you can get a VIP club as well. So something we like doing is getting like these Texas size combos because we could get a steak and like shrimp or steak and ribs and share those or chicken and ribs, chicken and ribs, chicken and steak. Kind of get the idea. Didn't see anything that's labeled gluten friendly but comes with two sides, usually pretty filling once you get this and a side. I think we're gonna go for the eight ounce sirloin with the grilled shrimp, $22.99. It's only two more dollars than the six ounce. And then two sides, definitely Caesar salad. Caesar salad, they have a great Caesar salad. And you want the loaded sweet potato? Yeah, we can do And the loaded sweet potato. So he didn't realize there was already rolls at the table. So now we have eight. Oh, and the plates there too. Also, I didn't realize we didn't grab any um, peanuts up front, but that's all right because we're gonna be full on all this stuff. So let's dig in on the rolls. I went with the peach tea with the unsweet tea. 
Now these are dangerous. I've been known to uh, drink a few of these, so I'm gonna try to pace myself today. Here's a fun one for you to comment on. Do you do like this where you cut it in half and then spread the butter, or do you just take the whole thing and then dip it in the butter? I used to just dip it in all the time. Now that we're kind of a grown adult, we kind of do the proper thing, but I love just dipping it in the butter. And then as we were talking, they did bring our Caesar salad to us. We already know the bread's gonna be delicious. You might have to. No. We need to compare them sometime to Cody's because Cody has really good bread. But I think these are better. They do have one of the best Caesar salads I think I've ever had, usually. Yeah, that's good Caesar salad. That's always a solid choice. I will say that we did a video at Carabas, just down the road, and they do have a very good Caesar salad. Is that the video we mentioned where we said, oh, we'll have to come here and get a Caesar salad? I think Carabas might be better. We would have to like get both of them and set them side by side, but both very good salads. Roll number two, need to slow down on these. Here's the food, so the loaded sweet potato, always a classic. There's the shrimp. And then look how that steak's cooked. It looks very good. Your go-to is A1. Yes, I love it. My go-to is Country Bob's, but a lot of people <laughs> don't have that. They do have this Texas Roadhouse steak sauce and they have Heinz 57. What's your favorite steak sauce? Like I said, mine is Country Bob's. It is down in like Publix now, but it's more of a Midwest thing. Yeah, it, there's, there's not usually. I was in Miami one time and asked for country bobs and they had no idea what I was talking about but that's when I lived in Missouri so we got it cooked medium well and it looks like it's cooked usually, medium well we usually do medium though in the past couple of times not here but in other restaurants it's been a little bit more like medium, medium rare. rare yeah so we've kind of just aired on this Done yeah, and that looks like a good cooked steak. So she just ate a shrimp, but you get five shrimp with it, two pieces of, or a roll. How's the shrimp? Very good. Mm -hmm. Have you tried the steak yet? No. Let's do it. Let's do it. Also, Toby Keith in the background. We saw him in concert one time. I wish we were filming videos back then because it was awesome. Good meal? Got a second tea. I'm gonna have to pace myself here. I've got the steak with their steak sauce. That's very good. They cook that really good. Now, try the shrimp. Oh man. Both items are excellent. Those are good. Look at all that. We finished that. Now it's time for essentially the dessert, which is the big sweet potato. And we still have, what, five rolls left? Here's the sweet potato. That's so good. We were talking about the sweet potato stuff and my friend Nick, who I think we shared, we shared the recipe on Facebook around Thanksgiving time of his sweet potato casserole that he has made. It's literally like stinking, stinking, stinking good. Some of the best stuff I've ever had in my entire life. You would agree. Yes. It's so good. So if you haven't made that yet, definitely get it and then thank Nick it's good for any time of the year. sending us the recipe. He just asked us if we wanted any dessert, and we pointed at this and said, this is gonna be our dessert. Have we gotten their dessert before? I don't remember. I've had their, their like an apple pie or something. Oh yeah. That's good. I will say they don't have many choices for desserts, which is kind of, yeah. like you'd think I've they would have the a lot, too. but. Been... Oh, gotcha. So I just asked if we get a box for the uh, rolls, and I think he's literally gonna go get fresh ones, which I was trying not to waste these, but we'll see what he brings back. It'll either be a box or a box full of rolls. Now, if we look at the, ticket here you can see not bad at all for all that $32.91 for steak and shrimp that's actually a pretty good price for everything so he was looking for bigger boxes and they are out but he did bring us two extra of the butters which is awesome so we've got all that for later all right now we're heading back towards the um, entrance or the exit whichever way you look at it so we got there about 106 got to sit right away what is it, 150-ish? And there was a crowd, so. Waiting. Waiting to get in, so just kind of keep that in mind we if you wanna. After like the church rush. Yep. And before the other lunch rush. Yep, that worked out perfect. That was our trip out to Texas Roadhouse here, Lady Lake. It was great. Mm -hmm. Staff was very friendly. They had a manager going around. He asked us, what, three times? Two times, I think. Two, two or three times how everything was. Yeah. And always checking on you. Um, food was amazing. I am like perfectly stuffed. Normally I come out of there and I'm like, Bleh. 
but we didn't stuff ourselves on rolls right and tea and honestly sharing what we did is not like not eating a lot it's being smart about it because we got the eight ounce and the shrimp and you eat the rolls the salad and the sweet potato so i would definitely recommend going and sharing something like that because it really wasn't that expensive right. and we are pretty full and we have four or five rolls we're taking home with us and only had two teas today it was great i have no complaints mm -mm. great visit yeah big thumbs up so if you're looking for a steakhouse and you've never been to a texas roadhouse i would highly recommend mm -hmm. with that being said that does it for tonight thanks for watching